dad did too, but he was so close to his mother. And when she died when he was in the military later, it was uh, just to, just really about the uh, end of his life, if you read some of the letters then. Uh, the items that I have that I brought to get to the quick, though, um, he, uh, and uh, as you know, he wanted a gun when he was a kid. He wanted his mother and dad to buy him a BB gun. But uh, she gave him a choice between a BB gun and a guitar. And she said, I'd rather have you take the guitar. Oh, <laughs> the rest is history. <laughs> I guess he could have been a marksman, but we never would have heard of him. <laughs> so, uh, at any rate, uh, what, I, what I remember about Elvis is when he went on, we'd heard of him when I was a kid, and we were kids, some of us. Um, uh, Tracy's too young. <laughs> but us, us, we remember him when he was uh, when he was just starting out, and when he got on the uh, the Ed Sullivan show, that was the big that was the big break. And uh, what you may not know, because his life was uh, controlled by Tom Parker, <laughs> and uh, at the time, and uh, Tom Parker did him some good things early on, but he wanted to get all the money. He had to get a way to. To try to do that, he kind of was very overbearing that way uh, with Elvis. Um, but he, he helped get him on these big shows, and and um, Elvis wanted to sign his own contract with the William Morris Agency uh, before he went on to uh, before he went on to to uh, Ed Sullivan or any other major shows. And uh, in order to do that, he had to be 21 years old back then. You know, we've lowered the majority at 18 now, but it was 21. And he was born in uh, 1935, so he had to wait till January 8th of 1956 to turn 21. So his first contract that I'm holding in my hands here, this is uh, his contract with the William Morris Agency. And, uh, and it says right on it, the artist represents that he is over 21, they've typed in here. Uh, and they've got his uh, his address as being, at that point, Box 417, Madison, Tennessee. So he was living then. But uh, you wanted to get, uh, with William Morris Agency back then, if you wanted to get on the big shows and so on. And uh, this thing's dated in January of 1956. Um, this is, uh, the agent, William Morris, takes a cut of 10% on anything that... Uh, that Elvis uh, gets. I imagine they did very well on this one. <laughs> this yeah, let's take it. Uh, this is Elvis's signature here. Um, he's 21 years old at the time. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. There you go. And again, I don't know if we can get DNA off of uh, off of signatures. I've got more writing of his than that. But uh, right. But that's the earliest uh, William Morris agency contract. And then. Um, 